Hello, everyone. My name is Christy Amobi, and I work with Extral. Welcome to our clinical webcast on radiotherapy for lip cancer with Dr. Yevgeny Ishkinen from the Kazakh Research Institute of Oncology and Radiology. Radiation therapy may be used to treat lip cancer on its own or after surgery. While many providers deliver this therapy using linear accelerators, X-ray therapy using smaller treatment devices is also available. X-ray therapy devices often provide greater ease of use and patient comfort and significantly fewer startup costs while offering similar treatment outcomes to traditional LINAC-based radiotherapy. Dr. Ishgenin will provide a short presentation on this topic and review several lip cancer cases he has treated using X-ray therapy over the past three years. Thank you again for your attention, and with that, I'll hand it over to Dr. Ishgenin. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak uh, at an interesting webinar with a report of radiotherapy for lip cancer. I'm from Almaty Oncology Cancer Center from Kazakhstan. Uh, uh, you see a photo of distant years, uh, even uh, when our institute used advanced technologies in radiation therapy. Uh, here you can see the Betatron machine and Professor Ajigaliev have uh, had a kind of cell phone uh, to communicate with the patient uh, in the hyperbaric uh, oxygenation chamber. Uh, now Kazakhstan uh, have huge territory, uh, but population only uh, 19 million people. Uh, density is the lowest in the world uh, and only 59% is a proportion of urban population. Um, life expectancy for women is higher. Uh, on this slide is uh, availability of radiation therapy to the population of Kazakhstan. Uh, the percentage of patients uh, is uh, in need uh, of radiotherapy and those who can access to it in uh, 2012 uh, and is uh, higher than our uh, six countries. Um, you can see the radiotherapy equipment of Oncological Institution of Kazakhstan and uh, very low machine uh, machines uh, population and new uh, cases of cancer, especially uh, Linux, uh, brachytherapy and X-ray treatment. Oh. You can see the dis distribution of Linux uh, uh, in our huge territory and some regions without Linux uh, and some cities, huge cities, Almaty and Ast uh, Nur Sultan have uh, several uh, Linux. Uh, uh, on this slide is distribution of X-ray therapy in our territory, some regions uh, and many small cities without X-ray therapy and people travel to huge cities for treatment, uh, especially south and west regions, who has many cases of skin cancer and lip cancer. Uh, unfortunately, they haven't these machines. Uh, some regions have, uh, with is an old R Room 7 released during Soviet Union in uh, 40 or 50 years ago, and uh, main uh, Galmei machines uh, was produced and installed in uh, 2007, nine years. Uh, it's also old machines, uh, 15, 14 years old Galmei. Uh, radiation therapy may be used to treat lip cancer and uh, on its own and after surgery. And in end of 19th, radiation therapy for lip cancer show uh, good results. Uh, also, brachytherapy techniques, uh, this is an interesting treatment that can give good long-term results, uh, but also have a high risk of complication uh, and also functional and uh, aesthetics uh, not good results. Uh, in 2000, 
only 76 patients was identified in our country, of which 79% uh, were men and 21% uh, were women. Uh, 47 were detected uh, at stage one, uh, 49 at stage second, 12 at stage uh, three, and uh, two percent and stage four. Um, follow up for 1,575 patients with lip cancer uh, under observation. Uh, Five-year survival rate is 72 percent. One-year mortality rate is uh, 6.6 percent. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, like this, patients uh, are still uh, detected uh, with uh, uh, advanced cancer of lip. Uh, incidence and mortality rate in uh, Kazakhstan for the last uh, 13 years have a tendency to decrease. Uh, if in 2009 was 178 patients and uh, 74 cases of deaths. Uh, in last year, only 119 uh, new patients and 18 deaths. Treatment uh, for this new patient, 39% uh, uh, only radiation therapy, 27.7% uh, only surgical, 23% uh, combined treatment is surgical plus radiation therapy, 4.3% uh, Complex treatment is surgical, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. 2% uh, only drug, 2% chemoradiotherapy. Uh, of uh, 76 newly diagnosed patients, uh, 47 complete treatments and uh, 17 uh, continued treatment. Uh, we perform a retrospective analysis of uh, 10 patients uh, treated in our center with lip cancer. Uh, eight of them were squamosis, uh, all under lip, two basileoma, all uh, upper lip, uh, period from December uh, 18 to December uh, 21. Uh, all patients received X-ray therapy uh, and uh, follow-up. All patients are still alive. alive. Uh, it normally affects men uh, over the age of uh, 15, and the majority of tumors are located in the lower lip. Tobacco habits similar what happens uh, in the superior aerodigestive neoplasm are an important etiological factor, and principally wave frequency uh, is increased in pipe smokes, smokers. Uh, Exposure or to the sun are also increase the risk and uh, is probably the most important theological uh, factor, uh, which is reflected uh, by the height prevalence of farmers and other professionals across the sun. Uh, all patients uh, are follow up from our cancer registry, and um, the moment uh, is a um, um, health uh, program for communicate. Uh, professionals and patients. Technique, uh, it's, uh, we have a real old equipment um, produced in Soviet Union, X-ray therapy device, uh, often provide greater ease to use uh, and patient comfort and significantly fewer starts up costs while offering similar treatment outcomes uh, to traditional Linux based radiotherapy, and uh, you can see uh, our machine uh, created in uh, North Caucasus in 1964 uh, year. Uh, the current stretch is uh, 10 milliamperes, voltage on the tube is uh, 40 kilovolts, uh, perfection uh, patient received free gray and total dose to 70, uh, to 66 gray. Uh, you can see the mid 16s uh, uh, appliances. Uh, it's a real internal machine and uh, works, still work, and uh, have a good results. Uh, 
we used uh, with filters 2.5 millimeters and 3.35 millimeters. Uh, uh, this is uh, results. Um, uh, the patient before X-ray therapy session on the first uh, picture and after X-ray therapy session, you can see some uh, bleeding of the tumor. Uh, uh, some results uh, with just started. You can see the when primary radiotherapy is used to treat uh, leak cancer, uh, the target volume should include the primary tumor plus uh, 1.5 centimeter of margin. And you can see on this um, photo this margin. Uh, this is a stamp uh, after the uh, applicator. And uh, one uh, month after treatment, uh, you can see uh, the good results uh, for this patient. Uh, another patient uh, before radiotherapy uh, and after one month uh, without any uh, cosmetological uh, defects. Uh, another patient uh, have a huge tumor on the uh, under lip and uh, just finished. Uh, he have uh, uh, good results. Unfortunately, this patient uh, don't uh, come for photo one month uh, later. Um, uh, this is a post-operative uh, patient before X-ray therapy, uh, patient have a cosmetic uh, defect and he can't uh, close uh, his mouth uh, before radiotherapy. And one month after finishing treatment, uh, not uh, no uh, defect and the mouth uh, totally close for this patient. Uh, uh, this is a case of external beam treatment for lip cancer on LINAC uh, 60 gray to lip uh, and uh, 50 gray to regional lymph nodes. Patient received uh, VMAT uh, photon 5 fraction a week. Uh, lip uh, plus uh, lymph nodes uh, first and third level. Conclusion, uh, radiation therapy is uh, preferable as uh, the method of choice with, uh, which makes it possible radical treatment, a low recurrence rate and does not reduce quality of life. Uh, a very important aspect is uh, patient positioning on treatment machine. Uh, if patient feel comfort, it's uh, good and if the patient is worried or not comfortable for him, uh, this creates difficulties for treatment. Uh, it's, uh, I wish you uh, ideally and perfect positioning patient uh, on excellent technology and excellent machine. And we hope to receive a new device with year uh, like this. Uh, thank you for attention. Thank you, Dr. Ashkenan. Um, Dr. Ashkenan, we do have a few questions coming in. The, the first question is, uh, what energy, dose, and schedules are you using for your treatments? Yeah, uh, uh, energy, we uh, use uh, 40 uh, kilo volt, uh, uh, free gray uh, a, a day, five fraction a week which uh, schedule of those. Okay. 40 kilovolts. Okay, thank you. Next question, is the radiation therapy pre or post surgery and do you have patients who decline surgery? Uh, yeah, we use it um, both uh, after surgery and also uh, if patient uh, decline uh, surgery uh, from our 
uh, 10 patients, uh, was uh, two patient after, uh, three patient after surgery, and uh, seven patients uh, who declined uh, surgical operation. Uh, in both cases, we have uh, good results, and uh, I think um, probably uh, because uh, we have old machine uh, and energy is very low for this machine, uh, so we have uh, uh, like this result, maybe uh, because of this. Okay, thank you. Um, next question, uh, if patients don't have access to x-ray therapy, do you treat them on linear accelerators? Uh, yeah, we have uh, several patients uh, treated uh, external beam by uh, Linac. I show one case uh, of this patient. Um, it's uh, all, also we use uh, Linac for a patient with lymph node uh, probability of cancer and um, for prophylactic of lymph nodes uh, malignization in lymph node. Okay. Um, there's a question uh, again around the uh, the energy. Uh, just a comment that 40 kV seems a bit shallow for the examples that you presented. Is that a limitation? You mentioned that's currently a limitation of your existing equipment. Yeah, it's uh, it's limit. <laughs> we don't uh, can use uh, 40 kilovolts because for this machine it's only 40 kilovolts and uh, we wait in this year new machine of um, X-Rail and uh, the diapason of new machine is uh, is more and uh, we try to uh, treat patient uh, uh, and other energies but now we have only this limit but it, uh, it show a good results Okay, thank you. Um, another question, just generally, what benefits do you see from using x-ray therapy over surgery? You, you mentioned patient comfort, um, ease of use. Are there other benefits? Yeah, uh, the benefits uh, for patient, um, this is cosmetic, uh, this is not, uh, ag not aggressive treatment, uh, but sometimes uh, patient who are old, and who have uh, trouble with tra uh, travel uh, to our center, uh, this is limitation because surgery is uh, several days. Uh, he treated in the center uh, for radiotherapy. Yeah, he treated during one month. Uh, but uh, if patient uh, if patient prefer uh, treated without surgery. Uh, he did without surgery uh, and uh, cosmetic after surgery is um, uh, cosmetic defect uh, after surgery is uh, is more and uh, some patient uh, decline surgery uh, about uh, cosmetic worries and uh, afraid of aggressive treatment sure that makes sense um Thank you for your answer. Uh, next question, uh, when you're using uh, radiotherapy for this type of cancer with a LINAC, do you use any mouth guards? Yeah, uh, uh, for treatment uh, lip cancer, uh, we don't use a uh, uh, mouth guard, unfortunately. Okay, great. Okay, well, that, that was our final question, Dr. Schkenen. Again, thank you uh, for making this presentation for us today. This is very informative. Uh, several of our attendees said that the images that you used were very helpful. Um, so, so thank you again. And um, if you have any additional follow-up questions for Dr. Schkenen, you can always reach him directly through Xtral. We can connect you. So uh, again, on behalf of Extral, I'd like to again thank you, Dr. Schkenen, for your informative session today. And uh, with that, I will conclude today's session. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.